With a grace that just straight up increases your damage by 20%, there are many team combinations that I really want to use with Mael as a link. Obviously, it's kind of a joke that, you know, a festival comes out and we're like, oh, he's going to be a great link. Yeah, but <laughs> it's true. He is a great link. He's the fourth highest CC character in the game, so he's going to be a great link on anybody you really want to use. And for a character like Meliodas here, for example, where if he doesn't have his 50% proc, he is going to be missing majority of crits. I think it could be better for him to have Mael link than Red Sauriel. So I can actually use Green Sauriel on Zeldris, which will maximize my debuffs. Now, Obviously, Zeldris already has a debuff card, but one thing is, if you notice when you're using this team, is maybe in the second turn, you want to have your enemies debuffed, so Melly can do the extra damage from his passive, but you don't have another debuff card. Green Sauriel's debuff actually lasts for two turns, so you can just debuff in the first turn, and then in the second turn, you can attack again, and they're still going to be debuffed, unless they cleanse with Melly. And even if the enemy has dodge, which they might have right now, then it also works. Let me actually go with this. Let me see the damage. So, again, if I had Red Sauriel, I would be taking none of his uh, his grace if I missed most crits, which I I, I hit every crit. Wow. <laughs> what a terrible example. Wow. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> That's, that's really... A, what a terrible... I hit, like, every crit. How can that be possible? That's so lucky. He has Chandler. Are you kidding me? I hit, like, every crit. That's insane. Okay. Well, that just completely shits on what I was gonna say. If I'm missing all my crits, which I didn't, I hit every single one. Uh, if I miss... If I miss all my crits then it really makes sense to have a character that's increasing my damage regardless. Now I feel kind of stupid. Um, can I kill Chandler with this? I think so. Obviously here I'm gonna have the crit. So for what it seems, oh my God, that counter. Pound for pound, if you're hitting every single crit, Red Sauriel Link is better. So it's just like five, five to like 4% better. But better regardless. And if there's something better, you're gonna use the better thing, right? Um, and obviously, Red Sauriel is a character that, like, a lot of you are gonna have 6-6 six, six for a while now. Well, Mael is a character that's gonna take a while for a lot of people to get, you know, 4, 5, 6, 6, because not only is a festival unit that literally just came out, so if you get unlucky pulling for him, you might only get guaranteed, which was the case for me for many of the rotations. Man, my melee is going crazy! Bro, he's hitting like almost every crit! Okay, he missed that one, but like still... Maybe I should put Green Chandler. I think the extra crit chance is hurting me. It's hurting my, my point. Um, it, Green Chandler is out of... It's out of Kusok. But Kusok is just better. My point, you know... <laughs> I can use Green Sauria, okay? That's it, that's all I need. Alright, that's all I want. I can use Green Sauriel, which maximizes my debuffs, except for when... Okay, I missed every crit now, so my, my point stays. Boom. I missed every crit, so Red Sauriel Link would have been useless, but the Mael Link actually helped. Boom, right there. Why the hell? Bro, th that melee was... Br that, that guy's melee was just corrupted. He, he shipped out without crit resistance. I swear. No, regardless. Uh, obviously, my is a character that most of you are not going to have high dupes for a while. So, you know, I understand this is mostly a showcase for something that might not even happen for a lot of you for a while. Months. Maybe even longer. But if you get really lucky and you don't get cocked by the banner, my old link is great. Because it's so high stats, like, it's higher than Sauriel, obviously, right? And, like, Sauriel is only, like, 5% better if you hit every crit. If you miss one crit, I'm pretty sure Mael Link is better. Also, there are so many characters, not Melly, which I know the video is about him, but... That, you know, don't crit regularly. Like, the other blue Kusok, although he's not very relevant anymore, but still, right? Characters that have cleave in the future... Mael's gonna be a fantastic Link. Because your uh, your damage, 
let's say your links, the best possible link you could use. Look at that, missed every crit. Missed every crit. The po the best possible link you could use for damage is always going to be Red Salario, or was right. And like the second best was like Margaret, but Margaret only gave you attack if the enemy was buffed, right? Which is inconsistent at best for a meta for a long time. They didn't have buffs. Now, now right now it's good example. Now Nashi has buffs, which is great and cool, but not every team has buffs. Not every activity you play has buffs, even in PVE, right? So I think Mael is just uh, going to be the best link, which again hilarious to say because he's. Thinking of a festival unit as a link is kind of funny, but still. Oh, perfect. Perfect situation. We're going to attack first with Zaldris because we want to debuff all the enemies so Melee does more damage. Perfect example to why I, for a long time, wanted to use a green Sauriel link in a lot of teams and couldn't because I had to use red Sauriel in one of the characters. But green Sauriel link is so useful for so many things. It's kind of funny though, because like if you've seen my Mael showcases, you, you can. You, <laughs> You can tell he misses a lot of crits. So his link is perfect for him, right? He misses a lot of crits, so it's perfect that he has a link that doesn't require him to crit to actually do more damage. I, mean, I don't know what other characters... Like, th there's no good cleave character right now in the meta. You know what I mean? Like, there's Green Sauriel, which you can't use my L link on. He's already an Archangel. Um, I'm gonna look up on Grand Cross database some Cleave characters, because Cleave is like the obvious card that this is gonna be perfect for. Uh, Freyer, for whatever like demonic beasts, you definitely want to use down Freyer. But Freyer is kind of falling off a little bit. I mean, he's gonna get a relic hopefully soon, so that's that should change. Oh, my Melly's dead, or not? It's Liz. Lamau. <laughs> uh, Liz. Um. I don't want to actually get my stores disabled. Oh my god. Uh, sometimes you don't use a character for a while and then you forget how strong they are. You really do. Mali is so dumb. I think he is still the best PvP character in the game. Like, Mayo is very strong. I think Mayo is already a very underrated character. But when he, when he comes out on global, people are going to see. People are going to actually experience him in PvP matches and, and really, like, tell how strong he is. Um, but Mali is, like... The damage he does when he's passive procs is just too much. He's just actually insane. So, you think you're... But even if the Liz ults, I'm still, like, I'm still gonna win. Liz, Liz's ult at 6-6 six, six sucks. It's crazy to think this character was anniversary. Like, maybe she's gonna be better once one more goddess character comes out, but by god. Like, the best goddess team people are running right now, or the, the, the team people consider the best right now, maybe my change, is uh, Mael, obviously, Margaret and Green Saurio. Like, it's not even Liz. But it might change. Liz is lost, you see. So that, go that goes well for her. Yeah, so for any future Cleave characters, my link is going to be like a must for my, uh, my showcases. Mm. I've been doing this every time, and it, it kind of works. For the most part, you, you want to you go for like Estorosa. Because if you kill Estorosa and remove his darkness, it's actually really good. But... I've been like risking, essentially. He's debuffing my melee before attacking him. Because like weirdly enough, Oh, that kills. It does not. Okay, I thought it did. Uh. Uh. 
I want to make sure Mally dies. <laughs> I was gonna really risk. <laughs> I was gonna risk, but I'm just gonna make sure. Uh, yeah, he would have killed regardless. Bro, Mally's so strong! Ah, he's so strong. Why is he so strong? I mean, I know why he's so strong. He was the... Every year, the end of year festivals are the strongest strongest festivals. Not the anniversary festival. Never mind, Bond was the strongest. Bond was stupid. Um, never mind, forget, what I, forget I said that. Goddess, nah, Goddess Liz is also stupid. I never said anything. I, I, just, I just spoke gibberish. Goddess, Liz, and Bond were just absurd. It's just like Liz that was kind of weak. But hey, guild boss character. So, I don't know what character to choose my link on next. There's so many good DPS characters, right? It's <laughs> Battle of Zeldris. There's so many good DPS characters. There's so many to pick from. Hey, Zeldris final hit. Man, I still wish the Zeldris is a DPS character. But it is what it is.